Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Suhei with Suhei Plans and in this video I want to bring to you my current notebook stash and how I'm using all three of them. Uh, notebooks are something that I change very frequently, I would say more often than every quarter and this is kind of the notebook system that I'm using at right now in this final quarter of the year. All of these notebooks are from the Planner Monkey Co's Freely Noted in an A6, B6, and A5. And let's go through how I'm using them. Notebooks are, you really can't quite have enough and there are so many ways to use them. I'm a big fan. And these things aren't quite planning, so I think they were worthwhile sharing. Let's go from largest to smallest. So in the A5, this is, hmm, I don't know how I would title this. This is me. And that means a lot of different things. I like stickers, but I don't like them in every single planner and every single planner type. So I think that if I want to enjoy stickers on a notebook is a great way to do that. I love the Tomoy River paper in the Freely Noted notebooks. I absolutely am obsessed with them. So I have this notebook where I just write whatever. I don't really have a lot of rhyme or reason. Anything that doesn't make sense in my two other notebooks, I'll use the A5 for. Sometimes I just want to use my fountain pen inks. Sometimes I want to randomly use stickers or test something out. Sometimes I want to take notes or prepare for some kind of a lecture. It doesn't really matter. I don't have a lot of rhyme or reason, but it's just a notebook that I can use for anything and, and anything that I need. And um, I just really like grabbing this and using it because of all the fun stickers that I get to put on it. Bonus points if you know what movie that sticker is in reference to. Let me know in the comments. Bonus points. I don't have any kind of prize, but I will virtually be very, very excited for anybody who guesses what movie that's from. So that's my A5. Anything goes that doesn't make sense in here is how I would summarize this one. Yeah. All right. B6. This B6, I want to put a few more stickers. I will over time. Hang on. Let me overthink this. Love that sticker. This kind of little crafty person down here making some Halloween crafts. I want to add a few more things and I want to get a plastic cover at some point. All that to say, this is where I do brainstorming about planning my planner system and things going on in the planner community. When there's a really cool new release, if there's a really cool new project, um, I'm sorry, if there's a really cool new planner, anything that's cool or that I'm interested in the planner community, I am going to brainstorm or write about it in here. So this is my planner planning notebook. I have more stickers in here. And then it just goes into a lot of me writing about planning related things. I like to use a Cornell style layout when I'm thinking about planner related things. Um, but I don't always use that layout for every page, and that's okay. I did a lot of my 2025 planner brainstorming in here. Things that were of interest, writing down like things that I no longer like in my system, things that I'm interested in picking up for 2025. Um, this is a good place for me to dissuade myself from buying things I don't need. Or encouraging myself to pick something up that I think could really be of benefit. Uh, this is how, this is a little bit obsessive, y'all. Like, hmm, I don't know. Um, this is a lot. But, you know, I this is a hobby. This is something I really enjoy. I'm on YouTube. You know, like, these are things that I like to think about. So, I have a planner. A no, I'm sorry, a notebook dedicated to thinking about that kind of stuff. And as you can see, I think about it a lot because it's very well loved and I use it a lot. I'm not particularly neat or anything like that. I just really like to reflect on 
all the planner related things. I think my latest, yeah, my latest like brain like thought process is I'm really considering the Mos Moxie Life planner for to try as a goal planning system. And so I did like a map here with pros and cons and things. And so just any like planner related things that I want to think about, um, if I want to kind of like choose between two different purchases, how much would they come out to, et cetera, all the things, planners, planning related, systems related is happening in here. Yeah. Oh, and I had some more, like some stuff I was doing in the back too, like it's, yeah, all the things, right? All the things. This is something that I would, so anything that you, any of any kind of any hobby that you have, this is, you know, think about a notebook to just reflect on that hobby. Last but not least, we have the A6. The A6 is being housed in this absolutely gorgeous Bujo Planner A6 cover in pebble mauve or pebble pink um, and like a shiny smooth black. I have this little sterling ink freebie card that i think just looks really beautiful there and this is housing another freely noted notebook and i'm using this notebook in two parts part one is where i'm reflecting on all things related to my family and my kids sometimes my kids do things or something happens with my kids that birth control uh, or not kids right um, but things happen with relation to my family and my children that sometimes I want to write down and reflect on and I just can easily pull this out and reflect on it in here that's kind of the first half of the book the second half of this book I'm using for jo uh, journaling and jotting down things related to our puppy that we just adopted earlier this month i want to write down things that they like to play with habits that i'm noticing um things in my training that i'm working um what things my puppy is learning where my puppy could use some more work um what are some routines that we're starting to get into i really want to i know that if i put a lot of time into my puppy that i will we will have a wonderful like family pet that we can really enjoy together. Um, but I know that that's going to take some elbow grease. And so I just have been reflecting on the things that work for him in the second part of this book. And this is like a family notebook. So I thought it would make complete sense to make half of this about our new puppy. Right. And maybe I'll add a picture in here. When does he like to poop? When does he like to pee? The answer is endlessly, clearly, but I'm hoping to get to a routine um, and I will be able to learn from the things that I'm noticing because I'm jotting them down. I also like to write down really good tips from other pet moms in here um, or really good tips that I'm finding online, just jotting them in here so I can remember to incorporate them as we're raising him. And so all of that is, so that is the A6. So this is my family, four-legged ones included. This notebook is for my planning hobby, thinking about it, reflecting on my system, the things that work, exciting purchases, all the things, planning. And then lastly, I have nothing, I, have, I don't know where else it's going to go, so it's going to go in this A5 is how I would consider that one. And those are how I'm use. that's how I'm using my notebooks. And that's what's currently, that what, this is what currently makes up my notebook system. Uh, I'm really enjoying, I love the Planner Monkey Co. paper. This is all in her pink cover. So the note, this A6 is also a pink. And I just really enjoy these notebooks, writing in them. And these are just things that are always on my mind and that I need to get on paper that aren't related to doctor's appointments, um, work. And, you know, this is kind of like everything else that's in my heart, that's in my brain, but that I need to get out on paper. I love notebooks. I can't encourage them enough. I think she's going to have um, 
the shop owner for Planner Monkey Co. is going to have these in a blue that just looks so gorgeous. And I'm like, ah, I need more. But these are working beautifully for me and I still have plenty of pages left. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you are using your notebooks in an interesting or particular way, please drop them in the comments. I'd love to kind of know how other people use notebooks. There are really endless amounts of ways to use them, but I always think it's so cool when people share how they're using them. Thanks so much for watching, y'all, and I'll see you guys in the next one.